Hello everyone, on this lesson we are going to start checking how does the clump modifier works. It's extremely powerful, so we will need to have uh, maybe two more lessons working on, on how to achieve great results with the clump modifier. As you saw here, I have the points put on guides and that's where it's clumping. Now, how does it clumps? We have the mask. But if I put a value of 0.5, it's going to be full gray value on the color. I have a value of one and I can also paint a new value. Remember that we have the masks and we can actually paint where I want it to work or not. So clump, let me save first. No, I think I already saved for the scene for the lesson. Uh, mask clump 01. So I'm going to map it to white. And you can see that I lost all the effect of the side. Now, let's put a flood paint on white and net. now let's, let's paint on black. So here, I'm painting, I'm going to paint with full black. Again, I will try to put the black and the mask on this side and towards this side only. Because if not, it's going to be hard because it's going to affect some parts of the regions. And that's something that you need to be aware of is if one clump it's in the middle of both it's going to try to pull the hair towards one side because that's a region map and a clump map it's going to intersect and maybe it's going to collide so save texture here first to create the if file and now create it here and as you can see now I have influence over this side and over this side I do not have any influence so you can actually tell uh, exigent, where do you want to create a single clump? That could work if you have something maybe like this. Let me see. Like this on this project that we are working on pattern. That you have this clump over here. That's an older render. Let me show you on a newer render. I think it's here. Yeah. You can see this clump here. And this clump, it's one single map that has this clump to generate the single clump. The map, it's all black and that modifier only has this clump because that's easier to control that way. Now, uh, I'm going to paint everything white. I'm going to flood paint white because I want to have the control here. And if I want to have no map, you can come here and click reset to a slider and that's going to give you the possibility to change to a slider and mask everything. If you put a mask of 2, it's not going to do anything. If you put a mask of 0.5, it's going to work again as it was working. Clump, you have the same parameters each time that you see here. You can either create an expression, reset to a slider or create a new map as you can see here. Now. You can also bring back the same expression that we have for the width, the randomness, and you can create a random map, but we are going to go deeper in that in a moment, not on this lesson, I think. So you have clump effects. It's going to work similar to the mask, but this one is going to be how much do you want to affect each part. So the clump, it's going to be like a slider to zero to one on how much effect do you want to have. Also, you want to change if you want to change the clump scale it's here you have two points that are defining how does the clump works over the strand so this is the tip and this is the root a value of 0.5 it's a perfect value for the strand and you can click and add new points and you can see here how you can control how the clumps work over the strand so you can actually create some uh, maybe ponytails or something like that. that. That's not the final way to create ponytails. There are some methods that you can achieve and achieve to get them. But that's a way that could work if you have a basic room. You can get that kind of effect. Also, if you want to pull something like that and have open uh, points, you can achieve that effect also for uh for with the clumps normally by default the clumps are uh, closed on the tips so this is the normal effect that you will have on the clumps you also have clumps volumized 
and this is going to give you a, f a kind of shape that it's twirling and you can see here that the clump it's a little flat sometimes if you click here it's going to move towards the angle that you have here and you're going to see how it flattens out when it's moving towards the tips so clump volumize it's going to try to follow the shape and refine the shapes it's not always a great way to have it because sometimes it's going to flat out everything and you're not going to have that kind of great interactions uh, but it does work when you have some layering effects you can see here that this uh, this option gives you a sharper variant variant variance here now clump variants or variants I don't know how to pronounce that it's going to repeat the clump over the strap so let's put a value of 4 it's going to give you all value and value of 0.1 you can see here that it's going to bring you back the value a little bit bit by bit I do not like much to have that effect but you can control here how much do you want to affect and if you want to your clumps to not to be that spread maybe more natural clumps something like that would work quite great now we have to check the or effects but that will be for the next lesson.